Health information management is about more than just information, it's also about patients. Following are do's and don'ts for how professionals in their day-to-day -day practice and how the industry can provide good customer service in two types of HIM scenarios. In the case of HIM professionals responding to patients' requests for information, do keep up with continuing education and training. If you aren't current with your knowledge of state laws and HIPAA, you could release information you shouldn't or not provide records patients have a right to. Don't use jargon. Speak in terms that a lay person can understand. For example, ROI will sound to many lay people like return on investment, not release of information. And do be aware of scope of practice. When patients ask questions about the content of their records, like diagnoses or test results, refer them to their provider for that information. Another scenario where the industry can provide customer service is facilitating the use of patient portals. Do make sure patients are aware of digital portals. Where there are portals, many patients may not know they exist or what the benefits are. Don't, if it can be helped, create multiple patient portals that force patients to use one portal for a general practitioner, another for specialists, and another for lab results. And when developing portals, do make sure the portal is easy for patients to use. Find and address gaps like frequently lost passwords and other access issues. Find more HIM customer service best practices in the Journal of Ahima's May 2013 issue.